All right, YouTube, we're back with Sean Kemp, Kamikaze 2. You already know these are one of my grails, fam. What'd you expect? We're back with the Kamikaze 2. <laughs> it's a grail for me. I don't care if you like it or not. Just saying. A Reebok Vector here in the Seattle Sonics wicked green color. And this, to me, is a real green. This is something that you would have found in the 90s, man. A primarily leather and nubuck upper. Aeration holes right here around the upper ankle area. Nobody likes a soggy sock. Are these really functional? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. That's for sure. I don't know why they keep putting these aeration holes on the shoes. And they don't actually do anything. Bro, the whole point is so that you don't get stank foot. Uh, you'd think that they would work at least once. Black new buck zigzag here leading all the way down into the mid portion of the shoe. White leather overlay. You know, I think it's called Utility Green is the actual official colorway name. But as you can see here, it's an EVA midsole that wraps around the shoe. Blood clot. This thing is thick, fam. And also you have this ultra thick rubber outsole here with the green that runs right through the center of the outsole. You know, I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with the fact that they put two of my favorite materials on an old school instead of going the whole textile route you know and everybody trying to be kobe these days so this i feel like i got my money's worth for the shoe at least white patch here where the big toe sits and you have a red reebok vector they got some of that foo foo hexa light up in there i don't know if this actually works man it's, it's it's you know it's up for debate if this actually makes a difference or not me personally i don't think it does anything white mid panel action and you have more of that hex light and it says no marking here because it's supposed to be non-marking rubber if that's true i don't know either i love the design of the outsole though one of the cooler designs that you can get from a 90s basketball sneaker hey you already know your man had to wear the, the throwback supersonics sean kemp jersey that's got you gotta wear the retro with the retro dog i'm not a much of a jersey man but my boy hooked me up Thanks again, Lewis. As you can see here, I got the tags, fam, the tags. These ain't foo-foo, I got these from the store. Hexalite technology tag here, as you can see, they go into explaining exactly what the Hexalite stuff is there. If you guys want, you can pause the video and read what that stuff says, cause I ain't gonna read it to you. Size 10 and a half, Kamikaze basketball, RFID scan code, all new book toe box with some nice stitching aeration holes leading up into the eye stay section and that's just basically punched right through the leather definitely one of the shoes i wanted to get my hands on since i was a kid nothing worse than seeing a shoe on screen that you can't afford and can't buy yeah them days changed when you lead up here you got a nice reebok vector in that green a huge hefty pull tab here and this tongue is thick and substantial really cool i love that about the 90s you have this wide opening here so you can get the shoe on and off easily you know if you will back of the shoe looks very nice very uniform paint very good job on that the vectors are looking very sharp and well placed you have a huge pull tab here dog like this thing is super thick like i just swear they're worried about you breaking it but nah you're good huge opening to get your foot in and you can see the reebok in the green the utility green on the inside there info for the shoe nympho on the inside of the tongue you already know what it is size 10 and a half i went up half the size with these i didn't want to take the chance and i personally think these is fire there's no angle that you look at these shoes that they're not sick let me give you guys a comparison of a ds pair of the black and whites because these two pairs some people can't tell the difference and you know i just want to do a quick comparison so you guys can see because i love both of these shoes and i can't tell which one i like better yes yes make sure you guys check out the suede version of the black and white kamikazes if you guys missed that review make sure you check that on the channel that review is pretty pretty fire too and you get some history in there as well black and white pattern here this whole area is a suede uh the black areas and this is actually the leather portions as you can see here it runs right into the midsole which is very nice eva midsole and they're very stiff as i said before good for outdoors and good for all sorts of play for the most part but the eva is gonna last you a long time fam it's tried tested and true these came out around the same time but personally i really like them in the suede i'm not gonna lie I haven't worn this pair yet i will be undsing these for the summertime but as you guys can see like yo 
they, like it's hard to get better than that it's basically like a reverse it's a reverse color of this fam like you can't go wrong it doesn't matter what you wear these with anyways we're gonna take a look at the box real quick so you guys can see uh because the box is actually pretty cool man reebok vector here on the entire box now don't you know it's a little bit mash up whatever dog it is what it is it's a box fam size 10 and a half men's kamikaze 2 made in vietnam black white and utility green see i knew that was the colorway utility green kind of made it in that same zigzag pattern that you know the the kamikaze is made of and it even has a slight texture there but you know it's a little bit raised off you know it's it's, it's all right it's all right do you guys like the suede better or do you guys like the new buck and leather version better because i can't decide they're both fire dog glad i got both of them when they were cheap and they're going up in price so if you guys want to get them make sure you get them anyways let me know what you guys think of the kamikaze twos in the comment section below you guys think these are one of the best 90 shoes to ever come out i think so let me know in the comments below <clears throat> make sure you hit the like and subscribe button we're about to get to the on foot what else are we about to do let's go Thank you.